let's take a trip across the sea Somewhere far away and just be free A place times don't go, we can call it our paradise Just you and I, now wouldn't that be nice? These are my tips and this is what I apply when I edit my videos. Everyone is different. Everyone does their editing different. Don't be too strict with your editing. And what I mean by that is your editing doesn't have to be perfect. Your footage doesn't have to be perfect. Your clip doesn't have to be perfect. Let's say you spoke. And you spoke wrong, you said a word wrong, or you accidentally swore, you use a swear word, or you fell, or something like that happened. And, and you consider that a blooper and you would like to take that out of your video. I do that, I take it out, but I leave a few in. I remember someone was watching my video one day and he asked me, why didn't you just take that out? And I said because I wanted to leave it in and the reason why I choose to leave these types of clips in is because I want to be relatable I want my channel to be relatable I want to be relatable to my viewer because no one is perfect everyone makes mistakes they just want to see that the person behind the camera is human after all can make mistakes and you know is making mistakes as well and it's for that reason that I decide to leave some of those clips in. Sometimes I would say blooper and put on the blooper, um, you know, static effect. Just have fun with editing. Don't be too strict and don't try and get it too perfect because at the end of the day, no one is perfect. And who would want to watch someone who lives in a perfect world? I mean, how realistic is that? So just try and be realistic as, as realistic as possible with your footage when you are editing. This is something you need to remember not while editing but while you are recording so that it makes editing so much easier for you. And this is all of these things I learned as I was making videos guys and also I learned this while watching movies. I would watch a movie and look at transitions, look at placing where the camera is at, look at angles. I would sit and watch and notice these things and I'm like I'm not even like following the storyline now. I'm just watching. I'm trying to figure out how this movie was put together. But anyway, back to this clip. What I wanted to point out with this clip is when making your video, try and get as many different angles as possible. So an angle would be, this is me recording, right? So I'm looking and I'm saying, hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my angle. I'm standing in front of the camera. This is my background. However, your viewer don't just want to see you. They want to see your surrounding. They want to see um, what is happening on that side. How you got from point A to point B. They want to not just see you. They want to see the things that you are talking about. So let's say like the other day I was making a smoothie in one of my videos instead of me standing and saying okay guys this is what you're going to put in and this is no I turned the camera around I pointed towards the objects that I was talking about and I explained what was happening. This is the smoothie maker so it's the blend and go from Cambrook. I purchased this at uh, Clicks for 319 rand and you actually get both 
of these bottles in the back. So this is your oats, some mint leaves, this is my bananas that I've cut up, this is my spinach, then I've got my pineapple and then I've also got mango. So I'm just going to mix all of these up, blend it and our breakfast will be ready. So that it gives your viewer or your subscriber, whoever is watching your video, um, a better visual of what you are talking about instead of you just explaining that this is a smoothie take them through the process of actually making the smoothie and turn that camera around and focus on the objects that you are talking about so this is exactly what I was trying to point out with this scene we are in the car me and my brother we are on our way to Mitchell's plane but I turn the camera around so that my viewer can see the road. The viewer sees what I'm seeing. Whatever you will be looking at, show them what you are looking at. I mean, if you are sitting in a car driving, you are going to be looking outside, looking at the road, looking at the trees, looking at the scenery. And that is exactly what your viewer, subscriber, whoever is watching your video would like to see. I know I've touched on this earlier on also in a few things that I've mentioned but let me give you an example of what I mean with b-roll using the clip that I was working on so once again I'm going to add the clip in over here and I'm going to play it for you guys so I'm just going to adjust the volume that it's not so loud, but look at that. Okay, so basically what B-roll is, is showing your viewer your surroundings. So whether it's you in the car, outside on the road, or whether it's when you're at the shop, showing the rest of the shops, or if you have a drone. And you can actually get B-roll from up there, zooming down on your location. Perfect. I wish I had that type of B-roll. That is, yo, that's my dream, guys. As you'll see, no one is talking. It's just music playing, showing different scenes. It doesn't have to be long scenes, as you guys saw. It can be a few seconds here, a few seconds there. But try and get as much B-roll as possible. It just adds more substance to your video. With my camera on the mini tripod, I was doing this. You know, getting footage while she was busy with my hand. Getting B-roll while she was busy with my hand because the show must go on, guys. Another tip when editing your videos, try and be as dramatic as possible. Once again, I'm going to make an, uh, an example of this clip. So I'm going to play this clip for you guys, the same exact clip. Um, actually not the same clip, this is a different clip. So this is the clip. Okay, so with this clip, basically what happened here is I was in the car with my brother and I felt like he was driving too fast. I recorded that, I showed you guys the road and how fast it was, I showed you guys the speedometer on the car. Um, however, what I also added to make it more dramatic, you know, to make it more, because that is how I felt that moment. But in order for the viewer to feel what I felt, I, try, I added in a, um, um, they call it angel singing anthem. You know, that oh, almost like you're going to heaven. So be dramatic with your editing. Be humorous with your editing. There are so many memes, there are so many gifts that you can make use of and special effects just to bring humor to your video so that's what I did I just went I was dramatic over there I knew we were not gonna die but you know just just to bring that more dramatic type of touch to that specific 
seen. So I actually needed to stand up to adjust the lighting because I am making use of the sunlight coming in and the sun is busy setting. So please excuse the change in lighting if you guys see it anywhere during the during the course of this video. My battery is also still now on two bars. I don't know if I've been speaking so much, but my battery is on two bars. I don't know how much footage I can still get in before the battery dies, but let's continue with the video. Okay guys, so my phone just died, so I'm busy charging my phone. So that in a nutshell is how I shoot and edit my videos. The next step in the process is for you to actually upload it onto YouTube and create your thumbnail. So I normally first upload and then afterwards I go back and I create my thumbnail. Um, the thumbnail needs to be about what the video is about. So um, yeah, I'm going to leave that for another video because I think this video is too long. If you guys are interested in thumbnails, let me know. I can do a separate video on that using Kind Master as well. But for now, what we are going to do is upload this video to YouTube. And I'm going to show you guys how I do that, which is the final step in the process. So, go back over your footage. Watch it 10 times if you need to watch it. Make your last minute editing tricks, finalize it, watch it over and over, see if there's anything that you've missed, anything that you would like to add, anything that you would like to take out. And once you are happy with the copy, you are going to export that file and save it on your phone. Another tip and which is something that I've been struggling with for a long time and I know I need to upgrade. I am due for what I'm actually overdue. My upgrade is overdue. But I always struggle with finding enough space on my phone to save my footage just because my files are always so big. And I try and export my file in the highest resolution as possible. If you guys can try and upload your or save the footage on your phone in 1080p, then from there you can then import it into YouTube. So make sure that you have enough space, especially if you've got a long video, to look and see what the size of your video is so that you can ensure that you've got enough space on your phone. Click on your project, right? Then you've got the four options over there, which is this one, this one, this one, and that one. To save this file on your phone, because you have to save it on your phone first before you can import it to YouTube, you are going to click on this icon over there. Then it will give you your options, right? There's low and high. Always import on the highest resolution as possible. That's why I'm changing that bar there. And there's your resolution options that you have there. You've got 540p, 720p, and 1080p. I'm going to come back. And I'm going to make some space. I'm going to add in those frame rate and resolution options over there. And then I'm going to show you guys how I export it. So it is much later. I eventually figured out how to get the higher frame rate on this app after a while. File size is 5.7 gigs. So this is what I do. I click on export and this is what the screen looks like. Now guys, since it is a massive file, I can tell you guys that it will it can take up to an hour for this file to be exported on my phone and about another hour for it to post to YouTube. So I'm not even going to show you guys that because it's just going to take too long. The sun is busy setting. The lighting has changed and my battery is flashing. So I need to end the video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave your questions down below in the comment box. And I will try my best to answer them. Don't worry about um, not having a camera. You can start off on your phone. You can always upgrade to a camera at a later point in time. The phones that are coming out now are just as good as a camera. I only got my camera about a year after I started my 
channel that is how i do my videos those are the tips and tricks that i would like to share with you guys if you did like this video don't forget to give it a big like and click on that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you are up to date for whenever i post videos to youtube that is the end of today's video thank you guys for watching thank you for staying tuned until next time bye bye